So maybe we'll be spotting the same under Chris Hard after a 1-1 draw with him. What are your thoughts on the game, Chris? Um, probably a game of two halves. I think first 45, see him probably edged it. Um, and was right, and was rightly in the lead. Um, half time, we were a little bit flat. There's no getting away from that. You know, in the changing room, obviously a bit disappointed. It seemed like we had a somewhat of a continuation from Saturday. Um, we asked for a reaction. I think second 45, we got a reaction. You know, we were spirited. We got plenty of energy about what we were doing. Um, bit of purpose about what we're doing. And maybe on a different night with some better finishing, we could have took all three points. But all in all, like you say, given the fact that it's a game of two halves, maybe a, a draw wasn't, you know, um, a, an unfair reflection of the game. Obviously, you made four changes to start in 11 a day. Were you happy with the changes you made? And do you think they impacted the side today? Yeah, I do. Um, I think, like you say, for the for the whole of the, the 90 minutes on Saturday, it wasn't good enough. Um, so it, it gives people the nod on the back of that. Um, guys come in and, and played well tonight, you know, I thought. Louis had a, a very energetic 90 minutes there, which will which will do him good, which, like you say, was pleasing. Um, John, like you say, performed well. Um, so, yeah, like you say, I'm, I'm pleased with, obviously, the, uh, the changes that were made and the performances on the back of it. Obviously, Rio went off today just after they scored. Um, is there anything we should know about that, or is it just precautionary? It, it doesn't look good, in fairness. Um, probably not that it's a, a long-term injury, just that it's a recurrence of, a, of an old injury, um, a recent old injury. So Rio will pause with him, we'll get him tret, and hopefully, like you say, we'll see some recovery over the next few weeks with Rio, but it's just about managing him and making sure that he isn't, um, he isn't rushed back. I mean, obviously now, look forward to Brilliant on Saturday in the FA Cup. Team, um, an opposition elite who were league higher, Obviously, with I probably see, I think everyone would say it's a fair say we've had disappointing starts. That hopefully, different competition. We just go out and have a bit of fun and try get the, try get the win. We'll try and get the win. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, what what we will be talking about is taking the second forty five into Saturday's game um, and using that as a building block. Like you say, the FA Cup is isn't something that we're going to win, um, but it's certainly something that we can we can try and progress in. Um, make the club, you know, a few quid on the on the back of that. But more importantly, you know, win games of football and and try and put foundations down for for confidence with us going forward. Obviously, you mentioned confidence. It does feel as though there's a bit of a lack of confidence at the minute. Would you say you felt that, or is it just something that maybe you've picked up or I've picked up on? Possibly something you've picked up on, mate. Um, I think from the point of view of. Um, not doing well in games, I think from the point of view of not winning games, then that sometimes gives, you know, that that body language that maybe looks like a, a bit of a confidence thing. Um, but we spoke at half time, you know, there's character in there. Um, and like you say, we've got a reaction, second 45, showed the character. And like you say, winning games of football, which will come very, very soon, will uh, we'll just reinforce confidence. Uh, cheers, Chris, thank you. Thank you.